Hello, we're gonna be talking a lot about penises in this video, so if you're not interested in penises, you should maybe not watch it. Basically, today I wanna talk about bottom surgery and more specifically why I don't wanna get bottom surgery, or I guess why I don't wanna get bottom surgery right now. Who knows, maybe I'll change my mind in the future. Before we get into the details of why I don't wanna get bottom surgery, I just wanna say that before I started my transition, and sometimes even now, I felt this like societal pressure that bottom surgery is something that I should get, or that bottom surgery should be a key part of your transition, and if you're trans, you should want it. But obviously that's not true. Every trans guy has different preferences and therefore also every trans guy's transition looks different. And every time I casually mention in a video that I don't wanna get bottom surgery, there's people commenting that they also don't wanna get bottom surgery and that it's reassuring to hear that I also don't wanna get it. Basically that there is representation of trans guys who don't wanna get bottom surgery. Of course, it's also totally fine if you do wanna get bottom surgery. Like just do what makes you happy. That reminds me before I get into more detail, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not saying this is how everyone should do it. Just my personal opinion. It's so annoying actually that you always have to say that because people will take shit personally all the time. Basically, why I don't want to have surgery to have a penis. Of course, if somebody told me, yeah, you could wake up with a penis tomorrow, I would be like, of course, that sounds perfect. But unfortunately, it's not that easy. It's actually a very complicated process. So my attitude right now is, yeah, would kind of be nice, but also, mm. in comparison, when I had top surgery, as soon as I knew that the option existed, I was like, hell yeah, sign me up. I want it right now. And you know that inspirational quote that's like, if it's not a hell yes, it should be a no. So yeah, this pretty much encompasses how I feel about bottom surgery. It's not really a hell yes. It's like a yeah, maybe. <laughs> and now I'm going to list all the arguments why I am very hesitant about getting bottom surgery. I wrote them all down. I hope I don't forget anything. Reason number one, for some reason, many people believe that bottom surgery is just like this one surgery and then you have a penis. No, it's not. Depending on which doctor you go to, it's like four or five, six surgeries. That is a lot of surgery, so that is a pretty big commitment and it takes a few years until you're actually completely done with it. Also with bottom surgery, because it's kind of like complicated surgery, it's actually very likely that you're gonna have complications, not like life threatening complications probably, but you might have to get a couple of extra surgeries to sort out the complications. So yeah, as you can see, that already doesn't sound very appealing. Also, I think having surgeries shouldn't be underestimated. Every surgery puts a lot of strain onto your body and you need a lot of time to recover from it. And I, I just don't think I wanna put my body through that, especially not right now. So yeah, your body needs time to recover after every surgery. And because of that, I think you lose a lot of time. It takes weeks, sometimes even multiple months to recover from surgery. And in those weeks, you can't really really do much, you can't exercise, you can't really go out and do stuff. I mean, I guess you can still do some things, of course, but I kind of just want to live my life right now and just not worry about those kind of things. Another thing that happens when you get bottom surgery, if you were wondering, how they make your penis is basically by taking skin from your arm and then they kind of like form it into a penis and you end up having a very big scar all over your forearm and of course that's not too bad but I also don't really want that. It's not like the biggest reason for why I don't want to get bottom surgery but it's like it just adds to it. Then the result, of course it depends where you go to have bottom surgery. I've seen really bad ones, some actually don't look that bad but the thing is they will never look like a cis guy's penis so I'm thinking what if I get bottom surgery and I put myself through all this stress and then in the end I'm still not happy with it. Just something to have in mind. Then something I'm actually really worried about is something going wrong. And of course I would pick a surgeon that I trust with my life, but still, things go wrong. I don't actually know how high the possibility is, but there's a small chance that you will lose sensation and you will never be able to have an orgasm again. And that would suck. I mean, I like having orgasms, I guess. Wow, what a statement. <laughs> and like, honestly, I think you can still have a good sex life even if you don't have a penis. I mean, there's lots of other fun things you can do with people. <laughs> I love, wow, I love how awkward I am talking about this. And you can also just purchase a penis for the purpose of having sex. So there are many options. <laughs> I think another big reason for why I feel kind of comfortable with not having a penis is the fact that pretty much all my ex partners didn't have a problem with it. I think I'm actually very lucky in that respect that the people I was dating always kind of like liked me for me as a person and they didn't really care about my genitals or whatever. So that was really, really nice actually. But I can imagine that if I dated people that made me feel bad for not being a cis guy, then maybe I would feel like there's something wrong with me and I would be more inclined to have bottom surgery. Who knows? I also wrote down that it's expensive, but at least if you live in Germany like I do, it's not a really valuable argument because health insurance covers it. So that that shouldn't be a problem really. So basically to sum it up, the benefits of having bottom surgery for me would be very small compared to 
all the strain that I would have to go through. And then again, top surgery in comparison, that really improved the quality of my life because having something on my chest really made me feel bad every single day. I couldn't go swimming without having to worry about it. I couldn't really exercise. I felt really bad when I was looking in the mirror. So that actually hugely benefited my life. And I mean, it would kind of be nice to be able to pee standing up, but I mean, come on, I can sit down as well, I guess. And again, having a penis does not define you as a man. I mean, there are probably some people that are gonna argue with me about that, but yeah. But yeah, in the end, I think everybody has to weigh the pros and cons by themselves and then make a decision based on that. And some people are gonna be like, hey, this is something I would actually greatly benefit from. Then by all means, go and have bottom surgery. That's great that you figure it out that it's gonna make you happy. But for some people, it might not be as important. I hope I got my point across, but I just wanted to make this video to show that there is not one right way to do your transition, but you can just go about your transition however you want. I mean, there are some trans guys who also don't have top surgery or don't take testosterone and that's also chill I mean whatever makes you comfortable I mean in general even if you're not trans I think we should all focus more on what makes us feel uncomfortable instead of just doing what we think we should do anyways I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video bye